Hey everyone, I'm Robin VR, and welcome to another episode of VR Review, my weekly virtual news wrap-up. This program is made possible by generous contributions by viewers like you. Thank you. So Magic Leap is back in the news this week, and probably not in a way they would like. A report from the information has called out Magic Leap for deceptive marketing videos and not being able to deliver on the type of technology it promised. By now, you've likely seen one of the several videos showing a baby elephant being held in someone's hands, children reacting to a whale splashing through the floor, or a robot battle in the office. The problem is, of course, all these videos are faked and have been created using special effects. There's nothing wrong with using special effects to convey a feel for what it's like to be in a virtual environment, as they do in this PlayStation VR video. It's a different story to talk about special effects as if they're real, as they do in the video Just Another Day at the Office at Magic Leap, where Magic Leap specifically states, this is a game we're playing around the office right now, back in March of 2015. A second point made by the information article is that their forthcoming product equivalent does not include much of the technology that was privately demoed to reporters in the past. A separate refrigerator-sized device known as the Beast was used to demo Magic Leap's more advanced concepts. This has driven the company's valuation up to $4.5 billion on the promise that they can get this down to the form factor of a pair of glasses. However, the current product equivalent is described as tethered by several cables to a PC with visuals in many ways inferior to the Microsoft HoloLens. Of course, with Magic Leap, it's hard to know what to believe, and many people still want to believe that Magic Leap will give a superior mixed reality experience in the form of lightweight glasses. Believers point to two videos the company has put out to state that they are shot directly through Magic Leap technology. Of course, my question to them is, has this been shot with a lightweight glasses product or the refrigerator-sized beast? Google, Sony, Oculus, Samsung, Acer, and HTC have joined forces to create the Global Virtual Reality Association. It's a non-profit organization dedicated to promoting the growth of the virtual reality industry by providing educational resources, connecting developers with necessary resources, and more. It's great news for the industry as the sharing of information should lead to an increase in compatibility between deep VR headsets and software. Finally, we got a little more information on the forthcoming line of Windows 10 Mixed Reality headsets. Asus, Acer, Dell, HP, Lenovo, and recent edition 3 Glasses will be releasing headsets sometimes in 2017. Apparently they'll run on integrated Intel graphics without the need for a dedicated GPU, meaning they'll work on most PCs and laptops. Microsoft is looking to support headsets with varying input, field of view, resolution, and frame rates. According to Alex Kipman, Technical Fellow of New Device Categories at Microsoft, we want a wide range of price points, wide range of specs, wide range of input, single developer platform, single developer surface area, so the experience will work across the entire set. You must at least be able to track in six degrees of freedom. After that, it's all about giving opportunities for your partner and choice for consumers. With low system requirements and prices starting at $299, these headsets are definitely the ones to look out for next year. If you like this video and feel it's helped you keep up with these technologies, please consider supporting what I do with any of these options. If you can't afford to make a financial contribution, please subscribe and share the video with your friends on social media. It really helps. Thank you.